3 is not a real classical move, but um, I used it uh, with some kind of success against Anton from Spain, young promising player. And I'll just develop my pieces first. Okay, the only problem is my knight on c3. I don't like it so much because I like to have a pawn on, on c4, of course, but for now it's it's okay. Okay, let me just jump in. All right, okay, let me just develop my pieces. Actually, these kind of positions, it's nice to, to open up, let's say the G file. And one of my ideas is to play G4. Okay, I have to trade pieces. Probably I better castle. So the problem basically in this position is that black has this bad bishop on c8. So let's see. So take, take, and since this, I think I'm ahead in development, I have two pieces developed. So let me just try to open up the position. It's very dangerous for black because he still has the queen side not developed. And now I'm just trying to open up the f file. My knight is good on e5. Okay, my knight on c3 is not doing that much. But I have a dangerous initiative. And now I'm curious which move he's going to play. Yes, this is the move I think I was hoping for. So let me try this move. Knight takes d5. So if he goes knight takes e5, I have knight takes e7 check. Important Sushin Suk. And now Devil Savvy is in, pro in trouble because. Now he has to choose where to go. Yes, this is as if he would have played king h8, I would play knight f7 check, king g8, knight h6 check, and queen g8 mate. So now I should not play rook f1 check because of knight f6, but I have the move knight takes d7. Quite a strong move because I'm going to win the queen at least. Yeah, queen takes d7, rook f1 check. And queen g8 check. And this doesn't look good. Yes. 1-0 for the bad guys. Okay, let's see who is the next challenger. Let me accept this guy. Moritz Jankowski. Okay, let's go for the Sicilian. Playing the Mora Gambit, a very dangerous opening which I even experience once myself against Mark Esselman, who wrote a very nice book, Mayhem of the Mora. The Mora Gambit actually uh, quite a dangerous opening. So I have to proceed a bit careful. Yeah, and in this position, I think against Mark, 
I did something. Okay, I think I can play still f6. Yeah, and now in that game I played bishop b7 or something like that, and then it finished badly. Knight a5 is the best move, at least not a bad move. And actually, here white only has one good move. Let's see if white can. White sees it. Yeah, actually he could have taken on e6. Bishop takes e6 and the idea d takes e6, queen takes d8, king takes d8 and bishop b6 check and taking the knight and it's more or less equal position. Now, of course, the bishop is not so good on, on c2, which no more dangerous things. Oh, b4. I wanted to go to c4 anyway. Thank you for the invitation. Yeah, this doesn't look very good for... I'm not sure I want to play d6 because it weakens... It weakens my e6 square, but... Okay, that's... Yeah, a4. Now, maybe I'm winning a piece. Okay, it's some complications. He has to give the piece. Yeah, probably Mr. Morgan Jankovic didn't see this move coming. Mm, yeah, so now I keep on harassing the bishop. And what you gonna do, boy? Yes, this one. Okay, let me take a pawn for free. Cannot be that bad. Threatening now knight takes e3, pawn takes e3, and rook takes c3. Completely being ignored by my opponent. Yeah, probably I can take on a6. Do I want to get involved? Uh, okay, I stay. Let's play safe. I don't think this a pawn is going anywhere. Yeah, check. Maybe I should have taken a pawn. All right, no good squares for my king. Well, okay, I go king f7 anyway. If knight g5 check, king to e7. Didn't want to put my king on e7. Because it looks a bit awkwardly placed. Mm, yeah, this is... Should not have allowed this bishop a4 and queen d4. I should be good here, but it's... Not what I wanted. Then see how I could s save the piece. Okay, queen takes d4, and then the question is should I play d5 or not? I put my queen on c just to protect this pawn on e6. Okay, let's go for it. It's a bit risky because I'm allowing this knight to jump to e5 or g5. Not so sure I'm doing a great job here, but well, okay. It's part of the game. Yeah, of course, this is very risky. 
but I think I'm just holding myself, but... Should try something with knight. Yeah, knight there. So now I have to go king to e7. Of course, it looks really bad because uh, with the bishop on f8. Check, but now I think I just have queen c5. Yeah, now he has to play. Oh, uh, now that's a pity. He should not change queens because now it's. He should have played queen b8, uh, threatening maybe some check on e8. This is a real pity. And now, okay, it's just. Sometimes it's just a matter of initiative. Now I should bring it home. Although, you know. White is just one pawn down, but it's the problem is basically that the the bishops are very good. Yeah, king here and a king f6, and now I'm getting coordinated. Now I just develop my pieces and. Well, I think soon I'm going to, to cash in. Yeah, bishop d7, but I don't think that does anything. I think I can just play rook d8. So if knight takes e6, rook takes c1, check. Schwitzenzug, and next I take the bishop. If he takes on c5, bishop c5 takes on e6, bishop takes e3, check, switch and zook. Yeah, so this one is... White is toast. The bishops are too strong. Sorry, I take this guy and I take this guy. Now all come to Papa. Yeah, collecting the knight. Yes, to zero for the bad guys. All right, so this was kind of a tricky game. It got a little bit carried away, but um, well, sometimes uh, you have to have some fun. Huh? All right, so let's see who is next. Let me. I prefer to play five minute games, but three minute games is also fine. But five minutes, I have more time to to talk. Let's okay. Let's try. Okay, let's go for. Pulpo fiction. Okay, it's, it's going to be a quick game. I'm going to play Sicilian. Okay. Uh, Paulson. I sometimes play it myself. I don't like the C4 because here. White is so solid. Mm, changing the queens, but this I don't like for black. Yeah, and I think maybe I should just play e5. Because now this knight on, on g8 is a problem. Yeah, he's trying to develop it, but where is he going? Mm-hmm. Okay, F6. Should I give him the spawn or not? Mm 
Okay, let me just activate my knight. Let's see where this is going. If he's forced to take, his pawn structure will be horrible. But I think he has almost no choice. And knight d6, threatening knight f7, so now king c7 is forced, attacking the rook. And let me just take this pawn back. Yeah, so... Bishop f4 maybe. Maybe you can still play g5 then. Hmm. Okay, I have to just develop my pieces, it seems like. Of course I want to play against the king on c7, but... Uh, Yeah, I was hoping for that move, so now I can play knight f7, attacking the bishop. And if he moves the bishop, okay, he's moving the bishop like this. I think I think he just play king to f1. Don't want to play king e2 because of knight e4 check. Then I have to think about where to put my king, but now, okay, next will be bishop f4 check. Okay, it's king on d6 is a bit His main problem is his bishop on c8. Basically has no place to go. And now he's asking for trouble. And he's getting it. So if bishop a5, I will play b4. Yeah, he's trying to save himself. I just, I just take the rook. Yeah, and he's just going to be material down. And okay, thank you. Muchas gracias. And that was it. All right, so let's see who is next, the next in line. Okay, let's... Mr. H. Bones. Three minutes, okay, let's play Sicilian. It's and he's from Chile. So I'm playing the same line as last game, but then with black. I'm not sure what he does, it's recommendable. He acts like all is fine. Interesting moment, where to go? If I play knight e5, queen g3, knight takes e4, queen takes g7. Okay, better just play safe. Mm -hmm. He wants to change queens, well, what to do? But okay, I like my position. And just no chances I will get mated. So I can castle safely. Normally this is very dangerous if the queen's on, but now I don't think this I'm running any risk of getting mated. But having said that, it's not the first time I was wrong. Okay, 
So now I have ideas like bishop takes a3. Yes, so what is this? I don't know, I just have to defend this d7 pawn. I was looking for some tactics with moving the knight, but uh, couldn't make it work. I'm curious how is white going to react now. Actually, my plan is simple. I just want to put some pressure on the c-file and then try to advance my pawns. Okay, he should not now take on f6 because I cannot really take with the bishop because of the d6 pawn is hanging. So I have to take with the g pawn, which is... But this is positionally wrong because now I have the two bishops and domination over the, the dark squares. Now kind of uh, position is playing itself. Okay, this was maybe not the best because I blown this e5 pawn, but okay, it's it's not made. And, you know, okay, of course, it looks a little bit dangerous with rook on h7, but king will be very good. I think he's, he, sh he should now, in fact, change rooks, but um, he didn't. Okay, he wants to go and now I'm going to try to mate him on the A file. Yeah, now he's panicking. Yeah, sorry my friend, but this you're going to be locked up. Yep, that was it. Yeah, it was. I think White made some positional uh, suspicious decisions and, uh, well, and gave me an easy game. Let's see if there are any more challenges. All right, so I'm playing. Mr. Kabel, Jouw Krieger, interesting nickname. Let me try this Tromposki. I use it sometimes as a surprise weapon, especially against people who are quite well prepared. But it's not so, it's such a stupid opening. And it's, first of all, it's playable. And I like to play it with C4. Yeah, 
Yeah, it seems he wants to play knight e to e4. Maybe I should prevent that or not. Yeah, maybe my knight h3 was not the most accurate move. But okay. Let's stop crying. I think knight e4 now is the most critical move. Of course, I cannot take twice because the pawn on b2 is hanging. So, yeah. Okay. What to do? But okay, now I'm just going to consolidate with rook, rook c1 and defend. Uh, now he has interesting option, in fact. In fact, there was option to play queen takes b2. Queen takes b2, bishop takes c3, check. Winning the pawn. That's why you have to you train your tactics. You have this tactics trainer on chess 24, which actually serves it for that purpose very well. I am myself desperately trying to get over 2300. So far, I've been there a few times, but couldn't keep it. Yeah, so now the question is that he has this weak pawns, so I have to try to break his structure. And let's see how he will react to that. This queen is a little bit offside because, okay, I'm going to attack him on the king side. So, Mr. Jabok Kabel Jabok Krieger. Funny name. Okay, I can win a pawn, but do I want that? Okay, let me just put some pressure. No, not there. I want to play rook d1, but then c3 is saying, okay, let me bring the rook. Because I'm going to attack him. So, defending c3, and now I'm just going to try to mate him. Yeah, this one, but I have this Schwissen Sook and take on b7. And now he's in trouble. Serious trouble. and. Now he, I have this rook takes e6 and bishop takes d5 and he is collapsing. Knight goes to f4. Sorry my friend, but it's not going to work like this. Okay, let me take it, it doesn't really matter. Queen takes f5. All right, so, so far, so good. Mr. Sir Albis. Okay, let me try. What are we playing? Four minutes blitz, okay. Let's play some Rati for a change. H6, I see, mm -hmm. okay, probably wants to play bishop f5 and have a safe place for his bishop, but okay. Uh, 
let me test him how he's going to defend b7. Queen c8, okay. Okay, I'm just putting my pieces out on aggressive positions and let's, okay, this C file is kind of annoying. It should be annoying. Okay, I take knight to d4. Okay, he's in trouble, but maybe he can still survive. Maybe he's a bit lucky. Okay, let me try. Can I try bishop h3? Bishop h3, I want to play, but I'm afraid he can play knight c5. Bishop takes c8, knight takes b3. And next, uh, it's just exchange of pieces. Maybe he's a bit, and if I play knight d5, takes, takes, and knight to c5. Maybe he can just hold. Okay, maybe I cannot profit from it. Okay, I'm playing a3 because I want maybe to put my queen on a2 and then to play b4. Still, you see this bishop on f4, rook on c1, and air, this queen on c8 is, doesn't feel very comfortable. Well, since I happen to play this system myself as black, I know more or less where it's uh, where is the problem. So, and not many players as why they know how how not many players why they know how to how to play this. Yes, so he's playing like this. Mm -hmm. Of course, he wants to get out of the pin. But let's say we get a, another pin. A pin for pin. Since he doesn't have this trick with knight takes d4, attacking my queen, so this is kind of nice for me. Yeah, he starts to make some obscure moves, to say that. Knight to h5, okay, bishop to e5. Yeah, clearly he didn't feel very comfortable with this, with this pin, so, okay, seems I have to take and to play d4. But I think I have a positional advantage here. Actually, one of my threats here is to play the move e4, because he cannot take with f-pawn, because the bishop takes e6, he cannot take with the d-pawn, because the queen takes e6. And this bishop on e5 is a monster. So... Oh. Okay, so let's see how then he reacts to this move e4. Mr. Sir Albus, you didn't see this one coming, did you? Hmm? Yes, and now, so he defends e4, but there's a lot of pressure over the e-file now. A lot of problems are coming to him. Yeah, sometimes life is not so funny, huh? Eh? 
Okay, I don't know what he should do here. Yeah, queen d7 is probably not so bad. Yes. Okay, still he doesn't have any threats. Let me try to... Should I weaken him or not? Okay, of course I can play positionally. Okay, let me play positionally because it's kind of instructive and kind of easy play. And let's say, okay, I bring the knight. Maybe it's not a, the most forceful solution, but it's it's not a bad one. Yeah, okay. <clears throat> He's trying to get some counterplay on the king side, but this knight on e2 is um, really uh, defending well. G4, yeah, but what I can say. Look at this bishop on h7. That's, um, that bishop doesn't look very good. In this typical position where no, the, the knight is stronger than the bishop. Yeah, he's trying to block it with the king, which is not even such a bad idea, but I'm afraid this is going very wrong at some point. Soon daddy is coming home. Yeah, it was a hard game. Yes, so, okay, this is kind of positional game. Let's see what we have next. Mr. Slon. Some Queen's Gambit. Okay, let's see what he's up to. Hmm, some towers. Semi towers. All right. It's not. It's a not a bad opening. It's quite solid, and it's easy to understand what how to play. Yeah, before there was this famous game between, I think it was Polyevsky Tal with bishop c4 and it, uh, some pawn breakthrough in d5, but these days they start to play first rook c1 because they want to know what kind of setup black is taking, either with a knight on c6 or a knight on d7. Let me just develop some pieces. It cannot be that bad. Of 
probably this is all some kind of theory, but um, well. It's a bit unpleasant for black. I have the center. Okay, there are not so many pieces on the board, but since the material has been reduced, you have to be very careful. And now I think this is probably going to be very strong. Not sure I'm doing good here, but let's try it at least. Yeah, it's was no need to allow this queen to f4, but um, okay, well, I should be good here because this bishop on c8 and knight on d7 is really bad, badly placed. Yeah, for once in my life, I should stop crying. Actually, maybe I'm just winning a piece but because now I have this move. I've had played bishop b5, maybe he still has queen f6, knight f6. Possibly, okay, it requires now some calculation. Okay, let's do it anyway, because my intention after knight f6 is to play rook c1, defending the queen, and I want to take on c8. But anyway, a black has no choice. Either way. Yeah, it's okay. He takes like this, but okay, that's just resignation. Huh? Yeah, see, even now there's still this bishop on. C8 is still locked up. He's going nowhere. Okay, let's check him here. I think they could give check and check on f4, but I simply play king h3, queen f5 check, and king to g3. Okay, that's just for the public. All right, let's see. So far, so good. What is this? I beat Patsas. Okay, good luck. Some Scandinavian for a change. So the Scandinavian is on. Mm -hmm. What is this move? Queen f3. Knight to c6. And how are you going to stop knight e5, my friend? And 
that's correct, the only move. Okay, I'm in for some kind of fun, so let's do this. Obviously, queen takes g5 is not good because that's a queen f3 check. Knight f3 check and queen takes g5. He had an interesting option actually to play bishop b5 check. And I would have given the queen and then take here, give the exchange. I think I win back the piece, this knight on a8. Okay, so now. Okay, this is some sort of coffee house chess, but. We, sh we should be loving it. You can take the g5 pawn, but uh, you know, there's the queen on d4 and all those pieces on the on the diagonal, it looks very risky. He's playing b4. Mm -hmm. Interesting, but probably not good. Mm -hmm. Well, if I take myself, he has the same trick. So I just have to go. Okay, this is getting tricky, this game. This could go either way. But okay, I'm just a pawn down, but okay, I'm, I'm very active, so I'm not so worried right now. Yeah, he, he can play d4 now. But then I have to make a move like knight to h5 just to get rid of the queen pin. But I must say it's kind of all oh, kind of dodgy. Okay, where I should go at h6. Okay, not sure what I should do. Yeah, strange game. One thing is for sure, I have to hurry up. Can't really say I like my position very much, but well, choosers cannot be beggars. Unfortunately for my opponent, he is running out of time. Very sad. 
Ja. Ja, dit was. Ik got a little bit carried away. Zo was het. But oké. Okay. Um, yes. Alright, so let's get a new one. Mr. Arrivato Zampano. Okay, let's try E4, E5 for a change. And a very popular Berlin defense. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's see how he reacts to some very unsubtle. Attack on F2. Okay, probably I just have to go back here. Anyway, my the way of play is that. I'm playing as a bishop on b5, which kind of looks out of play right now. Okay, he's trying to bring it back, but... Um, I'm going to take the center by playing d5. Maybe not yet, but at some point. Okay, let me first. Because I can't really play d5 because of some g5 stuff, but um, uh, bishop takes f6 stuff. Okay, let's do it anyway. Maybe I should have played g5 first because now he can take on f6 and well i don't want to go gf okay i'm lucky that he didn't take on f6 he takes now but now of course it's much less good now attack on e4 and attack on h3 Yes, defending both, but probably he missed this little move. This is it. Okay. Playing Mr. Homer. Going for the Pierce defense. Uh, I used to play this in my early days. I was playing what you call in Dutch the the lion. Not probably not very good, but well. But okay, I have I need to think of course here. Okay, I just castle. Basically, he's opening up the position, and I'm completely developed, so it should be very dangerous to say the least. So I have to move the queen somewhere. Yeah, of course, I'm going to give a piece. I had these kind of positions against guys like Shirov and well it was not so much fun. Mm -hmm. 
Hmm, now I have a few options. I can win back to peace. Okay, let me just win back to peace. And bishop takes g7. Actually, he still has knight f7, but uh, well. Yeah. Ah, come back. Here we go. Yeah. Fun. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sometimes I for forget to put on the. the twice per show don't work. Yeah. So what's going on here? Yeah, I forgot to press some button here, and Mr. Gustafsson was here. Came just, just to. Put me back in my place. All right. Next guy in line, Mr. Bluesy. Let's play some classical chess. Some Queen's Gambit. Ah, oh, he's going for the Vienna. Let me try some tricky stuff. You used to play this line myself as black, but uh, some lines I really don't like. Especially this, some fashionable line with a pawn sacrifice. This is a bit obscure. We get some kind of Botwinnik kind of game. Yeah, but now I just have I should have an easy game. Because I'm going to attack his queen side. It's possible, but I'm not sure it's going to make him very happy. Probably I just need to redirect my knight to d2 and then to c4. And as usual, oh, what is this? Queen to g7. That is not the most active move, but what he wants to play. Okay, let me just put some pressure on the C file. My opponents are playing with fire. Queen g7 would not really cross my mind. Yeah, now he's playing rook c8, but now he's going to be attacked on a6. So, yeah, but you cannot keep this dry, my friend. This is really going to be a serious problem. You see, I have all my pieces out, rook on the Open file, I have the center, so something went really wrong in the opening for black. So, what are you going to do? You 
take, I take. Okay. We are not going to be friends. Check was not the best, but okay, I'm still completely winning. Now he still has knight d7. And now knight comes to e5. Anything wins, but okay, let's find some tougher guys. CP Kuitert. Okay, let's go for some kind of Catalan for a change. Yeah, it's well, not sure this is so, normally they like to take on c4. Okay, now you're playing some kind of Tarash or... This is just a bit worse. First of all, you have to try to get your pawn back. Maybe that's not such a big deal. Okay, I'm going to react here. I just... Knight before is probably correct. So he's going to take on c5, but then I'm going to play e5 and my knight will go to e4. And once again, the problem is this bishop on c8. And okay, my pieces are, are coming out. Yes, so we can do this, but okay, I'm playing this obscure a3 move. A5 is very strange because my idea was simply to play queen to c2 and not to be bothered by knight to b4. And my idea is actually to play knight g5 or something like that. The f5 looks like not so great. Because, okay, now the pawn structure is really bad. e6 pawn is weak. So let's try to attack him there. After I made the speech that the e-pawn is weak, 
So I should try to get it at least. Also could have played the other knight to g5, tried to mate him on h7, but... Yeah, I didn't want to take on e6, because bishop takes e6, and... So, what is this? He's just giving me this pawn. Yeah, so I need bring him back, back the queen. And e6 pawn is still under attack. Let's just take the guy, remove him from his misery. Yeah, so many moves I have here. Okay, let's just go. Mm, should I go back? Probably I should. Well, I can just bring the queen back. Yeah, now I'm just going to attack him. Yeah, and mate. Yeah, those kind of close still in the end, but okay, the game looked very good for me. In the end, it was just some... All right. Mm -hmm. Who is next in line? We play Peter W. Come on, Peter. Yeah, let's play some slav. Of course he could take on d5, but uh, he's going for the most principal line, so we're going to have some fun. This is called, I think, the Moscow or anti-Moscow or whatever they call it. This is very sharp stuff. B back in the days, I was looking at it for a long, long time. And don't ask me about uh, this line is just crazy. this move. Let's see how Peter W is going to react to knight h5 because okay I'm just going to attack this bishop on g3 which is and if he will take on g4 he's opening the, up the g-file for me which I'm of course I'm happy to see. As you see what is happening now in the game. Yes, knight f2, but okay, I just take on g3. 
All right. What is this? Okay, let me just grab a pawn. And then think about it later. Okay, but I'm a pawn up. And two bishops. And if I'm going to castle queenside, my king is also very safe. And I don't know where this white king is going to. Uh -huh. Yeah, but this is principally wrong. I mean, we change the rooks. I grab one more pawn. Knight f2 is forced. And life is good here. Okay, black has, should prevent maybe white from playing e5 and getting the knight to, to e5. So, okay, let me play this. Maybe I should... Do I really want to play e5? Nah, okay, let's go for it. I'm not really worried. Yeah, and now I'm going to c5 and I have this beautiful d3 square for my knight. And this knight on f2 is pinned. Mm-hmm. Interesting. Let's see how we react to this move b4 now. Mm -hmm. let's okay, let's give it a check. Not sure where this is going to end up with, but it doesn't look funny for white. Okay, I wanted to play cd5, but he still has this move. Yeah, no, but this is just, I'm just taking the piece. Now it seems that some serious opponent, we have a serious opponent now, which is Felix Grace. So let's see what he's up to. We play the Nimzo. This is some kind of theoretical line. Mm. Actually, it's quite a solid line for. So it seems that he knows what he's doing. Well, okay, this is kind of interesting. 
Okay, of course he has this weak pawns, but he has pressure on on my queen side, and normally this is going to end up in a draw. I'm afraid. But okay, actually in last week I can say Navarro won a very nice game against Caruana in this type of end game, but it looked to me very drawish. I'm not sure this move rook b5 is so great because now I'm getting my pieces out with tempo. I had a feeling that he should have played another move. Like other rook to a4. But okay, it's still it's still quite drawish, but I think I have a small edge here. Yeah, this is, looks very drawish. But okay, I am still slightly better. Although maybe not for long. looks very equal to me. Yeah, now he can change the rooks if he wants, but... Um, but this, I'm not sure this is such a great idea. Okay, this was a very close call, but okay, I was mating the guy anyway. So, yeah, this was just close call, but okay, it should have been a draw. This game should have been a draw, but okay, let's go to the next game. Mr. Webner. Five minutes is better, because then I... I don't get distracted by the, the clock situation. So let's play this Rosalimo Bishop B5. Yeah, 
actually it's not a bad uh, system very interesting positional system and actually okay I'm just playing trying to keep the position closed especially this bishop on c8 I'm playing against bishop on c8 so it means that I have to try to hold a pawn on e5. I don't know what this move rook e8 is good for. Normally people like to play moves like f6. In any case, let me just in German they call it Überdecken. And let me try to get the knight to a4. So my idea is simply to attack the c5 pawn and keep the pressure on that I just keep this pawn on e5. Okay, I just want to move this bishop and okay, I didn't want to, to be bothered by moves like knight f4, maybe for no good reason, uh, because it probably is just I can play queen e3 anyway, but it's a lazy move. Yeah, so now he's defending. This is what I like to see. So now his queen is tied up to the defense on pawn on c5. So he has bishop on f8 and queen on a7 defending. And I have bishop on a3, knight on a4. Attacking the pawn. So basically I have say basically six point points attacking him and he has well 12 points or 13 points defending so it means that on the other side I should be doing quite well yes so rook b8 I'm not sure what where he's trying to go okay he wants 97 simply would lose the pawn Okay, now I'm going to push the king side. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, bishop takes h4 is not a real threat, but okay, let me move the knight anyway. Don't really want to move it, but. So, okay, I finally decided to get rid of this. Okay, let me take it. So next move, he wants to play c5 and then to have bishop to c6. So this is, I'm going to stop him. It, it will cost me maybe a pawn, but Yeah, I think he should have taken it anyway, but uh, because now, okay, I just take on d4. And this is, positionally, it's really bad. Okay, let me just bring the knight. He'll go probably knight g5. Okay, I move my queen. Don't want to allow him knight f3 check. And eventually I will kick this knight out. Yeah, so you see the bishops, especially this bishop on d7 is just uh, doing nothing. So sometimes it's just um, easy. Chess can be a simple game.
bishop to d8. Okay, let me just kick this guy out. Okay, let me bring the rook. Yeah, and I think I'm just going to prepare some kingside assault with rook g1 and g4. I don't know what black is going to do, but I know... Ah, he wants to attack my pawn on d4. Okay, on d3, so I'm just moving to d4. No worries. And okay, let's go. It's time to finish the guy off. So queen to b5, but I don't see any threats. What he wants? Maybe rook takes d4. Mm hmm. And then, well, and then what? One, one check on e2. So we don't really care for that. One check is not really bothering us. He wants to change queens. Okay. If the guy insists. So let's take some pawns. Okay, let's activate the king. Okay. Yeah, I could have played d5, but okay, it doesn't really matter much, but kind of have to put my knight to a7, not the most brilliant square, but okay, what I'm supposed to say with, with all those pass pawns, okay, and if you give, I take. Alright, let's take the next guy. Let's see. So far, so good. As long as I keep on winning. As long as I keep on winning, I have no reason to quit. Mr. Pramot. Let's go for some sharp Sicilian. Ah, this line with queen takes d4, it's not a stupid line. Yeah, it's kind of an interesting line. Once I got crushed very badly by Mr. Vazhukov. So now basically the plan is very simple. They play like 94 and then they start play f3, g4. No, this is a pity because, well, actually, there's a reason why quite often they play queen d2 because now the guy just blundered queen takes g5. 
All right. So let's see who we have next. Chess play four, five, four, six, seven. Okay, taking on the night off. Okay, let me try. Mm. F3. And knight to B3. This is a very popular system, especially for white, because it's actually it's plays pretty straightforward. G4. Mm -hmm. It's provoking me to play G5, okay. And rook g1. Now basically I want to, at some point to play knight to d5 and to take with the queen. Because if I take with the pawn, well okay, I don't have pressure on the d-file. And now okay, I like I like my my bishops on the e3 and and f1. Yes, so queen c7 is a standard move and I can just defend like rook g2. I believe if you play a move like knight f4, actually the only place where this knight can, can go, then then okay i just take and i think I, I, the structure is simply very good for me so he's playing knight b6 interesting okay it's probably have to go we're going now for an end game which might not be that bad for him Actually, it depends how quickly he can get counter play. So it takes, takes, takes. Yeah, and I just move my knight because I want to get my knight to d5. Which, this is a, was a bad move, rook to c8. Because he had to get counter play with f6 or f5 to get to attack my f3 pawn. Because now I get this knight to d5. And now my poor opponent has no counterplay. Yeah, so what I'm going to do is at some point I'm going to open up the queen side. And actually he's helping me by playing a5. And I open him up and now I'm going to attack this poor a5 pawn as I said sometimes chess is a simple game sometimes it's too complicated but first of all it's very apart from strategy it's very important that you understand your uh, tactics. Okay, he is giving me the pawn. I don't know why, but probably he felt like it was impossible to defend the pawn in the long run anyway. Yes, so he's playing like this. And at some point I will collect some rook. Mm, yeah. All right. 
right, who is next in line? We have any challenges? Let's. All right, we, we have here Ridari. Let's see. He's going for the Queen's Indian. No bow Indian. Yeah, Bishop a6. Now we have many moves. Queen a4. Queen c2 is most popular. Not most popular, but in. So this line with knight three is very popular now in the candidates in Moscow and Kayakin has been the one who has been most active in this line yeah so he's giving me the center it's also Kayakin always played d5 yeah but this is normally wrong you have really have to play here d5 just to break the center and put the knight on e4 now white gets a lot of space advantage bishop b7 okay i defend that pawn and i'm playing a little bit for some small trick mm, still doesn't work here now but now he has to be careful Okay, plays e5 is the only move, otherwise I would play e5 myself, followed by some knight g5 and mate threat and taking the bishop. So, okay, it's not so easy to break through, but uh, white has some serious space advantage. Yeah, he is really asking for trouble because, okay, he has to take into consideration this e5 move, but um, maybe it's not working right now. Probably will play knight c5 and I will just move my bishop. Maybe a5, it's a typical way. To react but the space advantage is really huge the knight on d4 is so strong mm, yes i'm of course um, want to trick him but uh, maybe i should not be playing for tricks Yeah, so finally he defends the bishop on b7 for possible d5 tricks. All right, let me see how he's going to react to this move, knight d5. Was if he takes, I take with the c-pawn and I have a huge pressure over the c-file. But okay, if you don't, if you just allow me to keep my knight there, then it's also not so funny. And let me try now this move. Trying to force him to take on d5. Which I succeed. Because c7 was hanging, a7 was hanging. But now, okay, you see the bishop on b7 is really that piece. Pawn on a7 is hanging, and I wouldn't mind taking it, but I also wouldn't mind to drop back with my knight to d4. So I go with my knight to d4 then. So probably he will put his queen on f6, 
but then I kind of renew. Uh, I was thinking to play queen thinking to play queen c2 but then I noticed maybe we can take on d5 pawn takes d5 rook takes e1 rook takes e1 queen takes d4 so let me just kick his knight out first So now the knight is out. Yeah, I can probably do something. Not so clear yet. Okay, let me just play f4. Mm -hmm. I have to think how to organize my pieces. Okay, first of all, I want to move the queen because I'm was a little bit standing in the in some kind of pin. Yeah, and now I just want to play rook to e2 because. Okay, I want to prevent him from taking on d5. And now I'm moving to the c file. Let's see how he's going to defend c7. And I keep the pressure on. Yes, and now I play h4, id at some point to play bishop to h3. Okay, he's playing like this, but okay, I just take it. Probably the pressure was too much for him. Yeah, I could have changed the rooks, but uh, I think my rook is very good. Okay, okay, and that's time to, to cash in, I think. Collecting this b6 pawn, give it to me. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's just change the queens and let's make it simple. Probably I could just win a piece or somewhere. Mm, yeah, this maybe I should not have allowed. But okay, still completely winning. I need to hurry up a little bit. Okay, I'm just taking the draw because uh, otherwise I would just lose on time. But uh, yeah. That's, that's a pity. But uh, well, I got carried away. I should just have uh, speared up. 
congratulations, really, really, but um, you are still lucky in this game. But um, okay, I keep on playing. See if somebody can actually beat me. Now, Taimu Alexander Bonneville, let's play some some chess again. I hope you guys tune in for tomorrow when me and um, Gusti we will do the live commentary again. Last yesterday we had uh, many interesting games, especially the game between Anish Giri and um, Fabiano Caruana. This was really, really uh, the game of the day. But okay, Anand also showed uh, his uh, his. Uh, why he's still so, uh, why he's actually a, a legend in chess and still. Mr. Taimu Alexander Bonneville, are you there? Hello, hello. Okay, let's abort and maybe take on somebody else. Okay. So we have a new guy coming in, Mr. GMS Scorpion, Scorpion, GM Scorpion. All right. Okay, let's. What I'm going to Grunfeld or King's Indian? Let's go for King's Indian. And my opponent likes to play Semish. Please don't mate me. Yeah, this is possible, but okay, there's this small hole now on B4, which actually means that now I have this beautiful square in C5, and there's this B3 hole. Needless to say, I'm going to check how he's uh, and how he will defend himself on the queen side. Already now, he's already thinking about his life. What happened to him? means I did a good job. So, yeah, but this cannot be right. You, you give me control over the dark squares. You really looking for trouble. Okay, now he has to play queen f2, and otherwise he can never castle. If he gives me one more move, and then it's... Yeah, this is really bad, because now I have this move, bishop h6. And you see my bishop will go to e3, and total domination on the dark squares. You cannot really give this dark square bishop as white uh, and the king's in it. It's normally your pride. The light square bishop is still, you can part with it sometimes, but um, the dark square bishop is uh, there to control this guy. This is normally the bad bishop. Okay, let's see. I just put the bishop on. Probably on d4. As I promised. Wow, my this guy is trying to move around. Okay. 
So I have to open up the second. Ooh, my God. This is not going to be funny for the guy. Hmm. <laughs> Kind of. This is not the way how you beat the King's Indian, my friends. Okay, let's bring in some more troopers. Mm -hmm. And the guy simply acts like nothing is happening. Okay. Okay, now it's time to finish him off. Yep. That was a kind of an execution. All right, let's try another guy. Mr. Pinkito. Let him try to play against the King's Indian. And he's going for the classical setup. Oh, he's going for the... He wants to play it safe. All right. Yeah, so. How is this? Huh? Maybe it's, I should have played h6 first, but um, okay. Let me try to play some. Should try to pick some obscure move or not. Maybe I better not. Eh? Okay, just bishop e6. I don't know how is this going to finish, but. Probably this is all theory. Looking at the speed of his play. I don't know. It's clear I have to make a move quickly. Cannot be good, but okay. Let's see. Yeah, now I'm in, tr in trouble. I have to admit. But it doesn't mean that I have to lose, but I'm in trouble, that's for sure. But okay, it's not... It doesn't mean that I need to lose right away, but things sometimes don't go as planned. <laughs> mm. 
but it's still a game. It's still a game. I can. Oh, he's giving me some chances here. complications nobody knows what's going to happen here I might save myself here Definitely saving myself. Kind of lucky escape. Oh, he gave me the rook. I actually, I have to admit, I offered him a draw, but. Um, Because I thought I was not going to make it. Well, this was close. This was close. So, okay, well, still, still going. Let's see who we have. Still, somebody has the balls. All right. Mr. Pasili. Okay, let's play Grunfeld for a change. Yeah, this Bishop D2 line is actually a very solid line, but uh, well, Sometimes they play here bishop b5 just to, to provoke this move a6. This is kind of nice for black to have it, to be able to play bishop g4. And now I change. And black now has kind of easy game. Okay, let's bring the troopers. I mean, if you have to play bishop c1 now, it's kind of... Ah, oh, but you cannot really give me the dark square bishop. That is positionally not correct. Especially when we have this... Uh, Pawn structure is not very funny. You should have played a6, but okay, I'm still very good here. Yeah, so if he plays knight d4, I will play c5 because I simply want to, to kick this knight out. Not sure what he has in mind, if anything. Maybe some rook to c1. Yeah, well, okay, let me use this rook. Maybe there was a chance he could go knight takes c7. If rook takes e7, queen takes b6. But he missed that one. Very unfortunately. Okay, let me just 
attack this e3 pawn see how real you you will react to that and you see my bishop on a6 is very good let's say compared to this bad bishop on on f3 so if he changes the screens i take back and then take the pawn on a2 if he moves the knight my next move will be c4 And now he has to defend the knight on b5, but it, it allows me to take on e3, winning the rook. Thank you. Yeah, well, let me just take this guy. I think queen g1 mate, just in case, yeah. Another one bites the dust. And we quickly go to the next victim. Das Kapital lesen. Mm -hmm. We have a fan of let me show you Marx. Nimzo Indian. Interesting opening. F3 Nimzo. It's a very aggressive system. But it can backfire also quickly. So now the question is, can white hold his center? And we all know the answer. All right, so he will probably hold his center, but um, black will be also very active. He can, well, he can take on c5, but I will play probably knight to a4. Okay, let me just take this guy. And I will get my pieces out. Bishop looks very good on f5. My knight will go to c4. And um, well, of course, it will be dangerous if I can get his pawns ro uh, rolling with h3, g4, f5. But so far, it's this is very far away. And I will maybe Try to get a knight to c4, rook to c8. I'm not so worried right now. Yeah, bishop d3, but... Um, yes, now I have some options. I think I prefer to... Keep the f5 square for now. See how this will develop. Probably he'll play something like knight h4, trying to force me to take on d3, because he wants to really to push f5. But at least, okay, then his knight is going to be on h4. Apart from that, I'll if he plays knight h4, he takes, I take on d3, queen takes d3, probably I'll play f5. It's a very good uh, blocking move.
so guys, so what's going on here? The guy is taking his time. Okay, it's not so easy, of course, because uh, you have to come up with a plan. Queen b1. You see, he's trying to force me to take on f5. But okay, let me just hold, hold f5 by playing knight e7. Also, additionally, okay, I want to play rook to c3 now. Yeah, but now he's letting my knight to f5. Knight is very good. Okay, and the next one is coming in. I have different moves, but um, yeah. Okay, let me just play h5 just to stop him maybe from playing g4. Maybe otherwise he will get some strange ideas. Yeah, this is not a bad move, but okay, I'm going to swing my rook over. Of course, I have to be a little bit careful for some mates on h7, but. Um, So probably he wants to take now on b7, queen b7, queen takes f5. With some sort of complications. So let's not give him that pleasure. Yes, h3, okay, and rook g6. Of course I want to play here at some point f6, but he has his move e6, so that's not going to work. Now. It's still not that simple, but okay, white also doesn't have any moves. a4. Mm -hmm. So probably he wants to play rook b5. And maybe to, well, okay, I'm, but I'm not scared of that. e6, but, okay, I take the guy. I take. And I play simply knight to e7. Yeah, and now let's move e5, opening up to g4 pawn. Yes, thank you. And you see now I'm controlling the board. Some knight check. Yeah, it was an interesting game, but um, but I think Positionally, it was not so good for for white. Okay. Who we have here? Questing Beast. Interesting nickname.
Yeah, this is a bit annoying system. It's quite solid. I'm not sure this bishop d3 is the best. I think you should play knight c3. Yes, so now, okay, let me just play knight e5. Mm -hmm. Castle, okay, queen c7. I have some kind of plans to mate him on h2, but also, okay, maybe I just want to take some pawn. Should I go for it? If I go knight g4, you'll play bishop f4. You can play the other knight. Yeah, some knight has to go to g4 normally. Or I just take on c4, but he will have compensation, that's for sure. Bishop d6, I don't want to play because it's knight to b5. Normally this should be fine, I'm just taking the bishops. Positionally I'm doing very, very well and once I take the dark square bishop, my dark square bishop is going to be very strong. Yes, and now he starts to think what to do, but um, options are already limited. I'm wondering what he's thinking about. Yeah, knight to f3, but okay. I take the guy and knight to g4. Attacking pawn on e3. Yes, yeah, so he has to defend. I play bishop c5, renewing the attack. He cannot move the knight to d4 because of mate on h2 yes so he has to play passively that's always something nice to see and i just castle i have the bishops i have the pawn structure okay and now i'm just going to develop also this bishop on d3 is not uh, that beautiful okay i don't know what he wants there but uh, okay let me just Develop my pieces, bring bring in the rooks. Okay, I have to play this move f6 at some point anyway. Probably is going to play queen g3, and I just sidestep any threats of knight takes f6. H4, that doesn't really impress me. Rook to d8. Very good. And now 
Okay, just play bishop c6. H5. <laughs> okay, let me just play h6. Um, I don't see where this is going anyway. Double the rooks. Okay, let's double the rooks. Mm, yeah, but I'm not going to allow you to play B4, my friend. In fact, you give me some extra option here. Okay, let me play bishop a4. Okay, now I'm making it a bit tactical, although it was not really needed. Okay, so now I have to... Okay, I go for queen d8. I didn't want to bring the rook to d8 because of uh, maybe some sacrifices. Okay, let me just take the guy. Let's get it over. And the rook is hanging on f1. A small detail. So, so let me see what is going on. Well, there are some questions in the chat, but okay, I just keep on playing the blitz for 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 now. So let's see who we have now for dinner. Mr. Spills. 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 No. I'll just, I'll just do. Okay. Some Sicilian. Okay. Let's see what he's up to in this line. And it's going to be some time enough. Okay, I just play my standard moves. Really curious if I can already take on B5. Some people always asking for it. Myself included. Okay, let's just do it, yeah? And let's put some heat on the guy. Once you play with the big boys, then you will feel it sometimes. So actually now he has only one square to go to, which is a c8, because I'm threatening simply to take the queen or to give mate on d7. That's right, and okay. I want to see how he's going to react to that. Of course he can take on a2, but then I just play king b1. So that's not really going to 
solve his problems. Yeah, but what he can do, eh? this is a good question. Because actually, my threat is not really to take the rook, but I simply want to go knight c7 check and and then see where his king is going. He cannot really go to d8, so he has to go to e7, but that looks also really awful after maybe queen d6 check and some king hunt will start. making space for the king, it makes some kind of sense. But okay, um, the troopers are coming in. Not even sure I want to take that lousy rook. Okay, let's put some more heat on the poor guy. Bringing the bishop, attacking this e6 pawn. As you can see, well, black is... I have three pawns and black is um, not really well developed, to say the least. Pawn e6 is hanging, rook on... A8 is hanging. I like my life. Knight to e5. Okay, let's first take this guy and then think about later how to proceed. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm. it's not direct mate, it's a real pity, but maybe I just have to make a quiet move. Okay, let's just play some quiet move. And actually, I want to play f4 next move. and then keep on hunting the king. Yeah, that's why maybe I should have played rook to d1, but okay. Too late to be sorry. Still, where he has to put his knight, okay, and I give him check. Mm -hmm. What the guy wants over there? Bring the knight first. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, maybe this is not completely correct, but... Yeah, he has to play like that. And yeah, I'm getting a little bit carried away trying to mate this guy. But okay, let's see. Still have four pawns for the piece. Yeah, it's not so simple. Okay, this king looks really bad, but okay, well, at least he survived. Okay, now he's giving me the piece, but uh, what the poor guy could do, huh? are running okay don't need to, didn't want to give him this pawn yeah well it was it looked bad from the beginning anyway all right so Now, Caparini. Good luck. Yes, yeah, so are you there? Or are you chickening out? I count till three. Three, two, one. Abort. Okay, let's see who else is there. Kursu, one, two, three. Let's play some. My father in law likes to play like this. B4 is, is his pet move. And you have the guys like Yubava and Rapport who also like to play some funny stuff like that. So. And normally it doesn't really matter which opening you're playing. I mean, if you understand the concept of the opening, then you is not so not so bad. Most important is that you have your tactics that they are on a very good level, especially when playing blitz. And just in general, you need to know some ideas in the opening, but not some concepts for the rest you don't need to know much so now for example he has now already some trouble of defending the e4 pawn This is not a bad move, I have to say. So I need to think a little bit. OK, 
Okay, I'm going to sell him some small trick. Bishop takes f6. It looks like a really bad move. Like, because now basically by knight on g5 he is attacked and the rook on a1. But I have this move knight takes e4. So if he takes the rook, I go knight f6 check. I'm taking the queen. So then I'm just. And now I'm threatening to take on f6. This is not a bad move because if he if he would have taken on b5, I had knight takes f6, and he has a very bad pawn structure. Now he seems that he can get away because if I play a move like knight c3, which is actually is forced, he can take, and I cannot take with the knight because my bishop on g2 is hanging. But okay, I have um, active position. I have a knight on e4, bishop on g2, rook goes to b1. Once again. No need to complain here. This is, looks like not such a bad move. Yeah, this game is not so simple, to be honest. Okay, I have pressure on the queen side, but... Um, Things are far from obvious. Slightly kind of provoking him to play knight e5. Then I want to put my queen on d4. And knight g4 is never really... Well, what is this? f5. You now he allows me simply to play knight c5 and huge pressure on the queen side. f4? Yeah, but... Um, that should not really imp impress me, but I like that he, at least he's trying hard like this. At least I have to pay attention. Guys, there is bad news. Goosty just came and uh, this is normally bad news. Means that this banter session is uh, about to finish. Uh, probably he feels uh, hungry or some other reason. But um, Sorry to give you the bad news. Now this game is actually not over yet. It's kind of a tricky game. Also I have to pay attention to my time situation. Also maybe you can take now on E2. 
This queen d4 was maybe not such a great move. F3. Mm -hmm. Also interesting. Yeah, this is this could finish badly for me. This is forced. And yeah, mm, this is looks looking bad. Especially my knight is now hanging. Okay, I will lose an exchange. What to do? Good chances for Mr. Kursu. Sounds like a Greek name, but... Um, This doesn't look good, but it's not over yet. Now I'm getting kind of coordinated. These rooks on the e-file, they're not doing much. You have to try to enter the position on... B file or something like that. Okay, now I'm just going to push my pawns quickly. Yeah, I just gave him the draw because he played quite uh, quite a good game and um, well, getting short of time. This is uh, well, maybe I'm winning here, but okay, I don't like that. It's going to be to run to the very last uh, second. And anyway, guys, um, um, I hope you enjoyed. I hope you guys you enjoyed the session. Um, I don't know, do you have some questions or requests for next time? So, I mean, tomorrow we, me and Gusti, we are going to do the live commentary at the candidates again, round, what is it, round 9 or round 10, anyway, um, still exciting. Uh, round it will be definitely for sure and um well you see you have to work on your tactics i do you want to be more successful in blitz that's for sure so me myself i also are uh, working on my tactics i my rating on uh the chest 24 tactics is around 2400 so then you know more or less where I'm standing. Okay guys, then um, enough is enough and uh, I don't want to really to make you too much uh, depressed by beating all, all of you. But okay, two guys managed to squeeze a draw out of me. The last guy, Mr. Corso123, really played uh, a game uh, on a very good level and uh, maybe his end game was maybe not so 
great, but um, still uh, middle game, he did uh, really well. Okay guys, it's good for now and um, I hope you have enjoyed this session and um, it will be in, in some time when I come back to Hamburg, I will definitely do one more Bender session. Okay, all the best, take care.